From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. Even on the more mild end of the, of the traumatic brain injury spectrum, people can have long-term consequences. The Department of Defense diagnosed over 30,000 service members with traumatic brain injury in 2011. The, like, yeah, the continuing right. challenge is being able to assess and treat brain injuries in a deployed environment. At the U.S. Army Natick Soldier Systems Center, they are working with the Brain Trauma Foundation on a new piece of equipment that might be a window into the brain. We've developed a portable eye tracking device that's fully integrated and self-contained to be used in what we believe a, uh, a soldier assessment paradigm to assess cognitive performance uh, in soldiers. While not a diagnostic tool, researchers believe that the eye tracker could help make sure soldiers are ready to get back in the fight. We have found through pilot acute TBI studies that there is uh, certainly a, 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 an effect on eye movement control on those with TBI and other cognitive impairments. Cognitive performance, it's, uh, it covers a broad range of of functions um, controlled by the brain, memory, attention. There is excitement about the new portable system, but testing still has to be done. With the development of the goggle system, which will increase our ability to test in the field, um, what we need to do first is to, to validate it. You know, the fact of the matter is our most important weapon system happens to be the individual soldier, sailor, airman, marine and those people need to be taken care of and maintained just as well as we maintain our M1 tanks or our, or our strikers or our jet aircraft. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.